Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Irate Teams. Hope you're all having a great Sunday. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description and use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. As you can see, I definitely did not have my affairs in order this weekend and tweeted this out at 7.30 a.m. today on Sunday when recording this. So this was a very um, rushed I rate your teams. I do apologize for that. It was a simple reason that I am just a very unorganized person sometimes. A lot of you guys have been asking why I don't post these every single week. And if I'm being completely honest, I'll, I'll just tell you the exact reason why. Um, I, I don't understand myself sometimes sometimes i get myself into a terrible mood and i've no idea why i think it's just due to the scenarios that we're all in and and what we're all facing every day and i get myself into this bad mood and then i just don't feel like recording a video and it typically happens most weekends i think you know foot champs might have something to do with it uh you know if you take a bad loss in foot champs it's gonna you know you're not gonna be happy about it but i also think it's due to just not being able to do things on a weekend being alone sometimes on like a saturday night it just you know, it messes with your head a little bit sometimes and it just, the last thing I want to do then is be like, oh, now let's go have a look at Varane and Mendy in about 45 different teams. So that's truthfully why I don't record them every single week. And I am genuinely sorry about that. I know you guys love these episodes and I'm really trying. Maybe I record these in a week and then post them at the weekend or something that might work. Uh, but I am genuinely sorry for that. I, I truthfully am sorry for it. And I, I'm going to try a lot harder to post these every single week uh and i just hope you guys are understanding about it hey, but without further ado i mean let's get straight into it uh let's give it a quick refresh for good luck just to make sure that we are uh we are on the latest teams now i only do the hd screenshots uh they're an easy way to get a hd screenshot video on my second channel actually uh i've been posting a lot more on my second channel just a little plug if you guys want to go check it out link in the description uh there is a video somewhere on here how to be in irated teams um which video is it where is it where is it where is it uh, it's one of these videos somewhere. Unless I just can't see it, maybe I removed it. I'll post a new video today on the second channel, how to be an irated team, so you guys can, uh, so you guys can see, basically. Uh, but yeah, get the second channel, man. We're posting player reviews, RTG, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, this video was brought to you by OneFootball. OneFootball is a quality all things football app on iOS and Android. It will give you lineup news, team sheet news, who's injured, you know, who's on the subs, goal notifications. I've actually been using OneFootball for quite a while now, as I like to keep up to date with different results in the Premier League, for example, but... It's hard to watch all the games at the same time, especially with streaming and making videos. OneFootball is especially good regarding transfer news too. If you ever want to keep up to date with everything transfer news, it's got a tab just for you on your favorite team where you can see rumors, confirmed deals, and everything and anything related to transfers with your favorite team. I also use it to track when games are because I am the worst with times and often forget and it will tell me, you know, United are kicking off at 7 or Everton are kicking off at half 4. It's free, it's easy to use, it's on the App Store on iOS or Android. I highly recommend checking it out. One football link in the description down below. Let's get into it. So we got Kaneki's team first. He plays a 4-3-1-2 in game with Atalan and Mbappe at striker and El Shadawe at Cam. Any changes? You've got 350k and you're going to get about 100 to 150k on reward days. Let's have a quick look. Wow. I mean... First of all, this team is absolutely crazy. The only thing I would say, it's interesting you play a Tal at striker, and I've got no problem with that because a Tal is a phenomenal striker. Don't get me wrong. This card at striker would work so well, right? He's got the incredible shot power, great finishing, great attack positioning. I just feel like a player with, with uh, you know, 82 interceptions, uh, he's got really good tackling stats in the 80s. Um, his defensive awareness is not, not awful as well. Um, you know, he's got good reactions and things like that. I think he'd be better suited to center mid and Jota better suit to striker obviously you probably already tried out and with Renato Sanchez at center mid you're probably not struggling at all uh just a thought um I'm also thinking is there a way I thought maybe there'd be a way to get uh Kante in your team on full chemistry there over Jota because I don't, don't get me wrong I think Jota is a good player but as a center mid I don't I don't think he'd be particularly amazing then again this year you actually don't really need you know, a centre mid at centre mid. You can put an attacker there. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm just thinking maybe there's a way you can get Kante in. And you can get Kante in and play Renato on eight chemistry. And and that could either be via putting Mbappe up top in Kante centre mid or putting Kante up top and Mbappe cam. Whichever one really you prefer to do. Um, it will game on full cam. Unfortunately, Renato will be on eight chemistry. But the rest of the team is actually really, really good. I like this team a lot, to be fair. Um... In terms of upgrades, the only upgrade that I think you can make here is probably Pep Guardiola. But I wouldn't recommend going out and buying someone because Prime Guardiola is still going to be pretty good. Um, I would say 
maybe save some fodder, save some coins, put some coins aside, and when an icon pack eventually comes out, if we ever get one, potentially you look to um, you look to go and do the icon pack. And if one doesn't come out, maybe you go in and complete either Makalele or you can go and complete Zambrotta and play, start a five back with Zambrotta at centre back and uh, and and play Zambrotta at centre mid in game. That could work really well as well. Uh, both would work pretty uh, pretty well in my opinion. We've got Nicholas next. He says, I don't know how much I've got at the minute. I've lost bare coins on fodder I was holding. I, don't worry. If we get an icon pack, you'll eventually make those coins back, right? So it's it trust the process, right? This is a cool team though. This Dishiglio card is fantastic. That card looks so... I wish I, I had the, the time to get it on the RTG. I really do. Um, for those wondering, by the way, I pretty much only play champs now on the RTG. I'm going to start playing it a little bit more on the money, uh, on the pay-to-win account for player reviews and stuff, but I pretty much only play champs now on my RTG account. It's like my main account now. It's my baby. I love it. I, I love grinding that account. Um, so I'll talk about it a lot. If you're wondering, maybe you haven't checked out the RTG or you don't watch the stream so much, that's, that's why. Uh, but this team's nice, man. This team is, uh, is really nice. I'm wondering... If there is... Ah, oh, there's not... I See, I thought there'd have been a potential way for you to get this Bender card in. But I, don't, I just don't think there's any way. I thought maybe playing uh, playing him off-cam with Kara, but you need this link on this left-hand side to play him off-chemistry. And he's just going to be on, like, 5-chem. There's no point. So I totally understand why you've got Jordi Alba there. I'm, I'm assuming you bring on either Bender or, or Tavernier at left-back anyway. You know, halfway through the game or whatnot. I actually do that myself. I bring on uh, Inform Alfonso Davies at, like, half-time when Otavio's stamina is pretty low. Um... I do like this team, though, and the formation works really, really well as well. I don't see an immediate upgrade for this team unless there is a left mid from the La Liga I'm missing out on. I suppose what you could do, and it's, it, I don't necessarily think this is an upgrade. I just think it's, a, it's, it's something different you could do. Is you could go and get this card during the week and try this card out at left mid and then play him at lambing game. Uh, only 89 pace. I mean, it's not the fastest in the world, but Kukadella's not got the best pace in the world, right? Uh, but I think this card looks really good. I think he's got four star, four star. He's got some nice dribbling stats. He's got good stamina. Uh, his finishing stats are pretty nice as well. I think this card could be pretty good as a lamb uh and that might work and, and and you know it'll allow you if you really want to to get a and mundi or left bank you know we're not gonna I, i'm not recommending that i'm just saying you know if, if you really want to we just don't tell anyone if you do that do you know what i mean don't tell anybody um uh, we've got colin's team i love how colin's twitter username is just his email address <laughs> uh he's got 400k for improvements and he's willing to save my next upgrades are either rykard or veron Okay, I thought you were... Uh, before I saw the team, I thought you were saying you want to upgrade to Rykord over on. I was like, they're very strange icons to upgrade to. Didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But, no, I get it now. Um... I like the look of this team straight away. I think Butra and Cruyff up top would work really well. I'm a, I'm a level with you. I have that Ryan Kent. Not the biggest fan of him at Cam. I mean, I get why you're using him. Just, I, I bring him off the bench at Cam, and his shot power feels pretty weak. And on the ball, just doesn't have the same effect as he did last year. He doesn't have that kind of... Like, if you guys played last year, you'll know about Ryan Kent's little force field around him, where if players got into that force field, he just bounced them off. I don't know why. It's really strange. It's like it's like Kante's invisible circumference that he can get the ball in. You know, he's got this, like, weird interception circumference around him. And then when he's running the ball, if the ball gets into that little area, he's going to get the ball back no matter what. Uh, it feels like with Ryan Kent uh, last year, but this year just doesn't have that same effect. Um, but I, I get why you're using him. And maybe you enjoy him. And maybe I'm just bad at the game, and that's why I don't enjoy him. Uh, I think you've got... Possibly the two best midfielders in the game right now, Bar Hullet and Vieira and things like that. And they're only going to get, you know, surpassed by team of the seasons if, if they're going to get surpassed at all. So, you know, you, you're pretty solid there in the midfield. Um, yeah, I'd say I'd say Veron, Veron uh, is probably, I'd say I'd upgrade Veron first over both of them. I think Raycard's not actually that bad. Um, and again, it's another, it's another one where I'd say maybe wait for an icon pack. With 400k, I'm a level with you. You're not going to be able to buy an insane icon that's better than that mid Veron card. You're just not. And I mean, I'd be, I would be doing an injustice to McGill if I told you to go and buy another icon over Veron as well. I think you just wait for an icon pack. That's that's what I'm like. I just, I think icon packs give people a really good opportunity to get a sick icon on their team. Do you know what I mean? So that's what I would personally recommend doing. Uh, we've got Ben's team next. Mbappe in for Balak, and then 4-2-3-1 or a 4-4-2 in game. Right, okay, so you're playing Mbappe, probably striker in a 4 2 3 1, or striker in a 4 4 2. Makes sense. Um, interestingly, so if you play a 4 4 2, are you playing Urzel and Podolski out wide? Or maybe you're playing Eusebio and Podolski out wide? Maybe? I'm guessing you play Casemiro as a CDM and, and Desai centre back as well. I mean, upgrade De Gea to literally Courtois. I don't see 
the point in playing um casemiro and your goalie off camp just go by courtois do you know what i mean like you might as well yeah you might as well there's no point in not um you'll get full chem on casemiro get full chem on the goalkeeper i think that tio hernandez is a sick card uh zambrot is really good at right back the team overall is really really good obviously you've got mid hullet as well uh i'm not sure how i feel about urzla wide but, I mean, each their own if you're enjoying him there in a 4-4-2. I, I respect it. Um, next team we've got is Phantoms, who says, you're running an RTG. Uh, Ronaldo and Neuer are the only tradables, and the first team is what I start out with. The second is what I play in game. I have 50k spare, and I'm looking for improvements. Keep up the good work in the streams. Hey, thank you, brother. I appreciate that, man. Uh, oh, okay. Wow. you got the Makaleli, got Zambrotta. Prime Carlos Alberto. Incredible card. Kara is a really good centre-back, by the way. I, I respect it a lot. That Kara card is very good at centre-back. That is a... Honestly, I would say a team that you can only improve during team of the season. That is a phenomenal team in my book. An absolutely phenomenal team. I don't see anywhere immediately where you can improve. That team looks absolutely incredible. Um, I don't see an immediate improvement. Uh, I think that you've got a sick team there. I like it an awful lot. I think it's really, really good. I would say during team of the season, maybe look out for a left back. I don't know how Kamara has been playing this year in the, in the league end. I don't know how Juan Bernat or how uh, Kazara have been playing. Um, I'm, I th I don't really know how any league, league and left backs have been playing. So I don't know. I feel like we will get a left back from the league and as a um, team of the season card. I mean, who would it be likely? Maybe Jordan Amavi? Would he get a good card? What's his, what's his card saying? 83 pace. With the tops, probably get 90 pace. 88 to 90 defending. 88 to 90 physical. Yeah, this would be a good card for left back. And then you can improve. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think Zambrot is a good card. I just think the, the left back version of him, I think is the weakest version of him. I think he's only got like 87 pace and he gets caught on the counter a little bit. Um, so that's maybe the only pace I'd upgrade when team of season comes around. But apart from that, that is a, a phenomenal team. For an RTG, I've got to respect it as well. Hats off to you, sir. Uh, I know most of you guys are running RTGs, by the way. And I know most of you guys, if you've ever spent money on the game, have probably spent very minimal amounts of money on the game in comparison to myself or any other content creator. Uh, i got a lot of respect for it. I've got a lot of time for it. i got a lot of respect for it. If you guys can make a sick team out of out of barely anything spent or if spending anything at all, um, I respect the grind. I respect the hustle. Um, and i got a lot of time for it as well. Uh, we have got Camille's team now. All in tradable. 350k spare. Oof. Okay, I like this. I'm just thinking, is there any way to get Renato on full cam? Which I don't think there is, realistically. Um, no, I respect this team. You've got Hamza Chowdhury. I like that. Uh, you've got Vidal. I like that. I'm guessing you play a 4 one 2 and 2 narrow or a 4-3-1-2. Uh, with, with, I'm guessing, Grealish at cam and the two strikers being Ronaldo and Eto. Eto's quality. Ronaldo's obviously Ronaldo as well. Um, I would say your next upgrade is probably Joe Gomez, if you can upgrade him. Um... Obviously, you've got to keep it English or an icon. Uh, so maybe you go with an icon. But yeah, I'd say that's probably your next upgrade. Um, I assume you bring him off for Mbappé on the bench anyway. But this is a really nice team, man. I like this team a lot. I think it's a quality team. Um, and I probably wouldn't ch touch anything else bar Joe Gomez if you're going to upgrade anything in, in the near future. I think if you've got... So you've got 350k. What you could do... I, look, I don't want to be that guy that's like, oh, use a, use a left back at centre-back. But I've heard a lot of good things. When the foot market particularly likes this card at centre-back... It could be a really good CB for you. I think that this Luke Shaw card would be a nice CB for 130k. If you don't want to get an icon, there's not that many great English center backs. There are a few decent ones, but there's not many great English center backs. Um, you know, you've got. You know, I don't think you've done that John Stones card. Uh, unless Harry Maguire gets some 90 pace center back card, I don't think he will, but he might. Uh, I would say go with this Luke Shaw inform card. Uh, try him out at left center back. I think he could work pretty well. Uh, we've got the next one coming from Otto, who says he plays a 4 triple 2 in game. The, uh, all untradeable. You don't have any coins at the moment. Okay, so you're rocking a full and tradable squad. Wow, you got some nice and tradable cards, man. I like that. Kessie is a good and tradable card. Um, the Atta is a sick and tradable card. Butcher is a really good and tradable card as well. Yeah, there's the informed Kyle Walker for the last team as well, if you do save up the coins for that. Um, all in all, you've got no coins in the so I can't really recommend an upgrade. Uh, solid team, though. Solid team. Uh, I think you've got the best version of Gerard. That Gerard card is just is is really good. The mid the mid version Gerard is actually a really good card. I think it's better than the prime version. Maybe not the prime moments, but I think it is better than the prime version. So he's pretty solid. We've got Akshay's team now. Uh, this is the team. 4-2-3 one in game. You've got 250k coins for upgrades. Please rate the team. Also GGMU. Oh, I love that. Um, nice team. Straight away. I'm assuming you play. Uh, I'm assuming you play say Max up top in game. Um, oh, you play a 4 2 3 1. So I'm guessing actually Ronaldo up top. Then, yeah, Dabala, Tovan, St. Max is your three cams. 
this is a nice team, man. You've also got, you know, you've got one offensive DM. You've got one more defensive DM slash box-to-box. A uh, really good defense as well. This is a really good team, man. It's a well-built team as well. And you've obviously got some nice and tradables on the bench as well. Um, I don't think there's any upgrades I'd say to making this team. I'll tell you what you could do, right? You could get rid of this Maldini card. I don't know how you like it. I personally did not like this Maldini card. Um, I, I wasn't a fan of it. It just did not play well for me in game. Yeah, so you could you could get rid of this Maldini card. Move Zambrotta to CB and put that Malquia right back. Maybe. Depends on how you like this card, to be fair. Um, if you do like the card, obviously, you can you can leave it how it is. It's completely up to you. Alternatively, you could also put this DeShiglio card at centre-back over Maldini if, if you wanted to go a different route. Um, because he'll still get full chemistry with the green link to Zambrotta. And Kessie will be on the same chemistry if he gets another dead link or if he doesn't get another dead link. You know what I mean? So he's still going to be on eight chemistry. Um, and then the last team for, for this video is going to be uh, from... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to read that name out. But uh, he's got roughly 780k for upgrades or... All untradeable. Uh, ooh, okay. So you got okay. See, so you got you've done Deco from from swaps. You've done Nedved and Schmeichel SBCs. Prime Figo is an interesting one. Decent card to be fair. Don't see that a lot though. Obviously, you you packed it untradeable, which is why you're using it. I'm interested that you did the centre back bender. I mean, hey, I respected that you're using centre back to centre back. I have no ill will or qualms with anyone using right back slash left backs at centre back. The way I see it is. It's hard to defend against three balls, man. Do you know what I mean? And it's not the player's fault if they want to use a left back or right back at centre back because ultimately having that extra pace just makes it easier. It helps out a lot. Um, what I will say, if you are not enjoying either of your centre backs, I would go and do Kara personally because I think Kara is a phenomenal centre back. So, for example, you don't like Bender or you don't like Boateng, replace him with Kara. Get that, that strong link, oh, sorry, that, that soft link to Zichiglio. He's on full chemistry. Everyone else is on full chemistry. And you've got a better center back and then use the other one as fodder for a, an, icon, an icon pack or something. Um, that's what I would recommend, personally, if you're not if you're not enjoying them. If you are enjoying them, obviously leave as is. Uh, the rest of the team solid, though. I like it. I like the German links. Um, I feel like this year, EA have made it easy to get a really good German team. And I respect that because in previous years, like I feel like the way German players play and, you know, especially internationally and things like that, like... It's so good, but doesn't work on FIFA that well, unless you're just an incredible player. So I respect that EA are making them more usable to the meta of FIFA. I, I do respect that, but it's a nice team. Uh, but that's going to be it for iRate Teams. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new around here. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter where I'll be, uh, you know, tweeting out when, when, when to send teams in and whatnot. Um, and I'll post on the second channel of our video probably later today how to get involved in iRate Teams. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.